How much money do you need to have as an investment property that you're going to Airbnb or VRBO on the short-term rental market? Now, first, check your regulations with your city because there are a lot of cities that are coming down on this. It's best if you can get something that's in an unincorporated county, something that's a little bit further out, check out national parks. Those are gonna be your places where you're not gonna have as many regulations if it's in an unincorporated county. Next up, you're going to need 20 to 25% down. Now, this is an investment property. Your interest rate is going to be different. So if you're going to buy a place, remember, 20 to 20% down or 20 to 25% down. And then also all the furniture that you're gonna put in there. If you hire a designer, don't let the designer pick out a yellow couch. Yeah, it looks fantastic, but you know what? That couch is gonna be ruined in two weeks. So think in terms of longevity, a great place for furniture. You may not love them, but it is great, you know, for rugs and for mirrors, Ikea. And then you're gonna wanna go to Living Spaces online website, they ship. I believe they even have free shipping for certain addresses and zip codes. So focus on that. You can get beds and information and all that good stuff from those living spaces spots for $300 versus spending $1,000 on a bed that's just going to break. I would always go for metal beds over having a wood bed. Metal tends to last longer, also doesn't stain, nothing else. And then also the, the carpets, all that. Think about how someone's going to treat your space. That is how you're going to have the most successful Airbnb so that your place looks fine and clear. If you hire a property manager, expect 15% for them to take. Now with short-term rentals, there's a lot more work involved versus like a long-term rental, you're gonna pay anywhere between eight and 10% to a property manager. If you have any questions or if you ever wanna compare rental rates, look up airdna.com. You can put in the address, the bedroom count, all that information, it'll give you a rough estimate of what it is. Also, if you look on Airbnb, you can click through each person's dates. Now we don't charge the exact same every single day, so pricing can be different. People ask me, do you charge $100 a day? No, well, is it a weekend? Is it Pride? Is it 4th of July? What's going on in the holidays? Like that's gonna change your pricing. So your pricing matters, look up on airbnb.com. You can check each individual date what someone's charging. That way you get an idea of what you can charge against what your mortgage is. And I can say my Airbnbs make two and a half to three times the amount of what I would make on the normal long-term market. So they are worth it. They are a ton of money. Uh, it makes a ton of money, a ton of cash flow. So if you have any other questions, DM me, but that is my two cent Tuesday.